we're not only going to be talking about doing new things, but we also need to focus on how we do them and how we communicate them. I think one of the things that has surprised me is that is this sense of incredible hopefulness still. I mean, every year that I go to things like this, I think, oh God, we're going to be surrounded by doom and gloom again. And yes, this is a pretty realistic bunch of people. They know how bad things are out there. But God, this sense of we can still do this if we get together, if we find the right openings to bring our kind of energy to bear on and work in the right way with people, we can still make huge change happen. That's amazing to discover that. My state of mind is not an optimistic one. It is a hopeful state of mind. And hope is very different from optimism, which can often be extremely ill-founded and not matched against the data. I can see at least three or four ideas which now have got real, real merit, which I think people will work on and take forward over the course of the next six months, next year. Um, not surprising, there's been quite a focus on travel and tourism. It's a massive global industry. It's still lagging best practice in other industries. This is extraordinary. There's been a big emphasis on fishing and how to work with the bigging fishing, biggest fishing companies in the world. And how do, you, how do you just enable them to recognize that the ocean is running out of fish? And that means their businesses are basically heading towards bankruptcy. So those have been the two big focal points. And then a lot of emphasis on communications. How do we get better? at telling this story, these amazing stories of how the world, not only do we have to do sustainability, it would be a much better world if we did it. That's what we've got to get better at.